Hello everybody, this is DemonBoss177 here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you, um, just a very brief, um, brief tutorial, not very in-depth, like, at all, um, on how to make mods for the game Minecraft Pocket Edition. So, um, um, I'm going to do this in my normal creative world. Um, now, say you're making, um, say you're programming a mob. And you want it to be like more of a scary mob. What I the sound that I would recommend using is the horse sound if I can find one. No, oh, okay, there it is. Because you see, when I spawn this horse and start punching it, that sound is really creepy, and it doesn't really make sense for a horse to sound like this. Um. So yeah, if you're trying to make a scary mob, I recommend this. And if the mob is going to be shooting projectiles, I do recommend using this. Um, this is called a fire charge. And as you can see, it lit the ground on fire um, on accident. But um, what this does is, like, you can shoot it at things. But, um, of course, people, actual players, they can't shoot it. They, it just acts as a flint and stall in their hand. But if I were to grab a... Um, if I already have one, yes I do and a lever, I could show you what these things actually do. So I grab a lever. Um, and I grab a, and I put, crouch, put the lever on here. And I, um, I stick a couple fire charges in here. 12, that should be good. And, um, I'll just grab this for the sake of the video. And watch. Basically what they are are fireballs. And they will explode on target. If they'll actually land. Which I doubt that they will. So. Even if they did land, it'd probably be really far out there. So, um, yeah, I do recommend using fire charge as a projectile. And the horse, um, sound, um, as for a little scary mob. Um, or, uh, say the mob, the mob is like the around a horror film or a video game. Or you just want a mob to seem more scary, I do recommend using the horse, um, sound. Now, if you're making a flying mob, um, I would recommend using the ghast rather than the bat. Well, it depends. If you want it to be, like, flying slowly, and like all over the place, and, like be like flying at random um, in all the different directions. I do recommend a ghast. But if you just want it to like occasionally fly around um, and then stop, I do recommend um, using the bats AI. Um, uh, let, let me show you the difference. So I'll go grab their spawn eggs right now. Um, I do believe that's not the bat. But I can find the bat spawn egg. Because, just by looking at the spawn egg, you can never quite tell what it is. Cow, pig, sheep, wolf, ocelot, bat. There we go. And then, right for you, get a ghast. Okay. Now, as you can see, when I spawn the ghast, wait, I, I want to have a sword at hand so I can kill it. Um, when I spawn the ghast flies all over the place, but it's not doing that. In See? It flies all over the place, and it flies very slowly. If the gas is... These mobs are very cool, and, um, the bat, however, when you use its AI, it sort of just, you know, zigzags and then stops. But it is very fast. Um, but it doesn't have the best it doesn't have the greatest AI, uh, which is why I recommend using the Gast over Bat. Now, um, for this next portion of the video, I'm going to actually um, go out of Minecraft. Um, now, this is a lucky block mod that I, this is a lucky block mod that I reviewed. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the methods of um, making the different methods that, um, Oh, sorry. Um, 
uh, the different methods for actually modding, um, and both of these do require applications. Now, um, the easier, if you want to make, if you want to make a bigger mod, I would suggest creating a server, because servers, um, you actually have the option to modify them, but the actual game, you do not. So, that's the first method, and the second method, I don't actually have an app to represent it, but the second method is actually having the mod itself join your game. Um, I have seen um, apps applications do this with the Plug PE mod, which is basically a Too Many Items mod, and um, the Minebot mod. So, um, both of these applications require the mod to actually join your game, which um, I don't... I've tested it out on realms but i'm pretty sure that if you have a two-person realm then these mods won't be able to join your game um if you have another person with you that is um um but i haven't tried it, so I'm, I'm not sure but um yeah this video um has been some programming or modding modification um tips and tricks um so i hope you do enjoy and i will see all of you in my next video, peace.